Hey everyone, it's Nightlight9, and in this video, I want to talk about the Monster Hunter collab, because I think there's a lot of things to be really excited about. Um, I, I'm really happy with the direction that Ever Crisis is going, and so that's kind of what I want to cover in this video, is just talk about the collab, talk about uh, how this makes me excited for things to come. I know that there's been a lot of people, uh, especially like day one players, you know, who have stopped playing the game or come really close to stop playing the game. And uh, I can tell you this is basically like, uh, this is the reason to keep playing. I think this should reel you back in and give you hope for the future. They're starting to do all the things that they need to do to really make this game work, like at the highest level. Starting with that roadmap, I think that was a really big thing. Letting us know what to be excited about, what to look forward to, when approximately it's going to happen. That's how you build excitement. Even during, you know, the slower times, knowing that something is coming up right around the corner in the near future, it's a big deal. Uh, looking at this Monster Hunter collab, I just kind of want to look through a couple of different things and really talk about how they've nailed this, right? So the crossover with FF9 was the only other crossover we've had. Then we've also had the six month anniversary, which isn't a crossover, so it doesn't really count. But like adding this little, uh, I don't know, Palico, whatever you want to call him guy, that is awesome, right? It's just one of those things that is like an extra, I don't know, way to kind of immerse us in this whole Monster Hunter zone. And that's what it should be. I've been talking to everybody in the Discord this morning about how they've really kind of nailed the finer details of this. Um, if you look at the quest clear screen, right, it has like its own graphic that pops up and has this kind of like dinosaur vibe to it, right? Like a monster hunter vibe. And those things I think are just very nice touches uh, and it really helps us, like I said, be immersed in what's happening right now. Now, coming into the actual event, uh, if we take a look, you know, the, the main thing here we get out of this, as far as from a free perspective, is going to be the Shinra Wyvern Blade for Sephiroth. And this looks pretty good. It's got some awkwardness to it, but for a sub weapon, which I think the majority of free weapons are used as sub weapons, I mean, hey, 31 points to boost magic attack, obviously at 120 here, I'll show you about what it would look like if you take it, you know, somewhere around 80, because I think that's where most people are going to end up with it. And you can see here, the R abilities, magic attack and boost ability potency look pretty good. So coming back, uh, this, you know, fire resist decrease to all enemies. Potency low stacks to mid, that's not that bad if you actually wanted to use this weapon in the future. I mean, it's probably not going to be, you know, something you're using often, but you never know. The the AoE fire breach could be a thing. And I'm thinking even of like point events, like the Easter event where we had the fire breaches. I mean, this could be uh, something that actually is useful. But either way, I like that the R abilities are continuing to get mixed up for sub weapons, and I think that that is good. So, I'm really excited about that. The rest of this uh, is pretty standard fare. We do have 100 Sephiroth specific weapon parts, which is very nice because he's kind of a core uh, hero what I that I think a lot of people probably use. These mantles over here with these lottery boxes, you can get three of these at the moment, um, and it looks like you can just open them from your inventory, by the way, and it looks like... Uh, one type of item at random. So you have a chance of getting 1,750, 500, or 300 crystals. I have not opened mine yet, but that's really cool. I, I like the touches they're putting on all of this. Uh, the event story is pretty interesting. I actually think a lot of people, um, if you have been skipping it, you might want to go back and watch it. One other thing that I really like that they've done here is that they've given us a co-op battle that actually does require a bit of team coordination. Unlike a lot of the co-ops where you just get in, you auto every single one and it's done. This is kind of similar to uh, doing some of like the mini crash battles, right? Like if there were an EX2 or EX3 version for co-op. 
I love that, and I I would like there to be more of that. Not something so hard like Crash that you have to get carried through, but just something that you know takes a little bit of coordination, or at least at least a little bit of thought, or maybe not being able to just auto it for everybody. Um, and by the way, if you are having some issue or looking for people, you can always come to the Discord. There's plenty of people here that are playing all the time. You, you know, looking for group. We've got a section for that, so you can find people if you know. I'll be honest, the first few times I tried this, uh, you know, I was getting with randos that didn't really have anything set up for this battle. And remember, it's a one-time clear, so you don't need to have the event item for more rewards on it, right? Because you're really just trying to clear it and then go back to your farming stuff. But I'm going to show you real briefly, just briefly, what I used or who I brought to beat this uh, with randos. I used Matt. So this boss does two things. One, it buffs its own magic attack. It also reduces your fire resistance, your physical defense, and your magical defense. So, Centipede is perfect because it's got an AoE heal, it's got AoE physical defense buff to counter that. Uh, then we have Amulet Tribute here with Core Defender to raise our magic defense. We're using uh, Vanquishing X to take off all of his stacks of magic attack buff because eventually when he gets up to like five tiers of that, it's going to be very hard to survive. These are pretty much all stat sticks, uh, sub weapons. I just went with heal, heal, heal. Micro laser though gets a, uh, a special honorable mention, I guess, uh, because of the fact that it's also got fire resist, which is going to help us survive even more. So that's what I went with on Matt. Bring a healer that can do these kinds of things, and you have a much higher chance of beating it uh, with a team of randos. So if you were being frustrated and not being able to clear that, you're welcome. And uh, I don't know, I just think everything about this event is very fun. Other things that I like that are going on, uh, the fact that we have this bomb rush, that they, when they unlocked it, they did 10 levels instead of five. I don't think that that was necessarily just like a great stylistic choice. That's, that is what it is. But with all of these things going on, we're actually burning through stamina tonics. I mean, I don't know about all of you, but I imagine many of you were out or at least had cleared your gift boxes by the time they gave us that 70 that they just gave us, which is very generous, by the way. All of these things are really, really exciting. me. The fact that they gave us a free 10 pull for the crossover, along with 30 free pulls here, and this one is actually going to be 280. This one's also going to be 30 total. I mean, they're giving us all kinds of stuff. Now, the free pulls and all that, that has been something we've gotten before. So they're basically just continuing that tradition, which I think is amazing. Coming over to the missions, we also have this like special uh, map thing for the missions or a, a board, if you want to call it that, a mission board. I love this. You know what I mean? And, and when you unlock it, it it's all um, lit up. But then as you kind of clear them, they disappear. This is a nice touch as well. And it's... Part of the, the little details that I can tell the developers are putting into this game, like they're taking it seriously now. It's like they're working on something that they're excited about, and that's translating into us being excited. So I'm very, very happy about that. Also, free crystals galore down here. I've already taken a lot of these, but like, look at this. This is insane. And I haven't, I've gotten some of the gifts, haven't gotten them all, but like, 3,500 crystals, and I think it was actually closer to like six or seven thousand. And I think it was actually closer to like six or seven thousand crystals when it was all said and done. Uh, I think I was sitting on like 43 this morning ish. So, really excited about that. One other thing I did want to touch on real briefly here is if you're a spender, uh, they've got another double five star. With a 10, I, this is amazing value for 300 crystals. I would like to know what you guys think. I'm sure I've missed some of the small details uh, with this event, but those are the things I think that are really making me feel like playing the game uh, more and more. The fact they've also added the uh, Leviathan co-op, like there's so many different things to do. And I know people get really frustrated when they don't have enough stamina to do every single thing they want. However, I would rather have that problem of having to manage my resources a little bit more efficiently and think, well, do I want to finish the golden bomb or 
Do I need to clear the shop for the new event, or do I want to do a Leviathan? I'd rather have that problem than have nothing to do and have them just pooling up. Like, obviously, now we just got all these. But I, before this, I probably had like 200 stamina tonics just sitting in my inventory. That's not fun. And although it may be a little bit stressful to have to manage it, things like stamina, I still would rather have that with plenty of stuff to do. I'd rather have that all day, every day, versus, hmm, well, all right, I logged in, I did my 10 minutes of stuff, and, and now I'm done. That's, that's not what we want. So I think the devs are doing a great job. I would love to hear from you guys what you think about how this is going. Uh, let me know in the comments. I am very excited to hear about this. Let me know, um, you know, if this has helped pull you back in. Other than that, subscribe for future content if you're not already. If you are, I appreciate each and every one of your support. And as always, thanks for watching.